everybody, my name is Luke Mar, and this is Hot the Mode. And today on Hot the Mode, we are coming to you with a seven day seven looks from none other than Vogue. And this time it is featuring an icon, a legend, a star, Tessa Thompson. Tessa Thompson is an actress that honestly I'm a very big fan of. I watch Thor. But the other great thing about Tessa Thompson is she is a fashion star. She goes, she works it, she tries it, she wears young brands, she wears old brands, she wears new brands. I really appreciate her always on the red carpet. I appreciate her style off of the red carpet as well. I'm just genuinely kind of excited to see what this seven day seven looks will hold from somebody that I actually think, oh yeah, she dresses very well. Can't say that about everybody else that we've featured on here. Let's get into the video. And here she is, the grand dom Hello. herself. Hi, Tessa. I am Tessa Thompson, and today I am going to show you everything that I might wear. In Ooh. <laughs> okay. Look. <laughs> shocked me so much. Literally, physically gagged. I like the fact that she says this is what I might wear in a week. She's like, let's be real with ourselves. We're making content here. I see you, you see me. So I like the fact that she says everything I might. She's not dedicating herself. She's saying this is what you possibly could get. By chance, I might wear this and that and the other, but I'm not working in definites. So I enjoy this already. Okay, so from what I'm seeing so far, it's giving what it needs to give. I think this is gonna be fun and funky. All right, Monday, start it off. So this I would think of as a business meeting look. Me, okay. I feel like this is giving me Comme de Garçon, maybe a little Junior Watanabe, maybe a Nor Kaini no Mia, Japanese avant style. But like, again, she's right, business meeting. I think the vest, it's a cool sort of style. The fact that it has cutouts is intriguing. The shirt also seems to have cutout detailing as well. There's a long sort of skirt. It's in that corporate black and white, but it's like, it's on my own terms. If I'm having a day where I'm Talking to folks, this might be something I'd like to wear. I am trying to get more into skirts. Usually this would be a pant, but these I are these, uh, Yoshi, this Yoshi skirt that I thrifted. I think Yoji Yamamoto? If not, if Yoshi, the dinosaur from Mario, is making clothing, we stand. And if he's making skirts like that, wow, he must have a lot of time on his hands. I'm into it. I'm into the skirt attempt. These are two comb pieces that I... I got it. I know, I know. Put two points on the board, please. Thank you. Separately, but they're oh, very love. fun and they go together. The fact that it's cut so that an enlarged scallop detailing is amazing. You can see like skin and bra underneath. Booped, gapped, stand. What I like about this for business, and I love the cutout jacket. Take itself too seriously, particularly if you're someone who's creative. I think your business look can also be creative. I stand her, you know what I mean? Like I literally stand this woman. I think dressing for a business meeting with a real sense of personal style actually allows the person across from you to get a sense of really who you are. I am obsessed with this woman. So I would maybe like, I love a blazer. So I would probably also put a blazer. Oh, I stand. It has so many. She said three piece you know, suit. Usually on a business meeting oh day, I'm out for a long time, so I need a very big bag. I would be literally honored if she showed up and was like, wow, you're so creative. You deserve this look. I'd be like, thank you for communicating your creativity through clothing for me, for a little old me. I'd be obsessed. Put all my things in. The Gucci bag makes sense. I get this it. Would be my business look. I'm, I'm sold. Iconic. Yes. Thank you. Appreciate you. You are the best. You are a star. You are an icon. You are a legend. Yeah. Okay, Tuesday. See, like, we're starting off strong. You know what I mean? This is going to be a toughie. So this, I think, okay. is my Girls' Day, Friends' Day out. These are the most comfortable pair of pants. I love them. I oh, I mean, the full denim look, they're not matching denims, which it makes sense. I get it. I understand it. But the halter style top with the very big baggy jeans. Maybe put on this if I'm feeling fun. Oh, uh, probably not because it's too much. This look I think is really convertible into day and night. If you pop on a jacket and then Ooh. I love these the Lueve also denim <gasps> shoes. Yes. So I'm really in a full Canadian yes. tuxedo which oh my god i love it i love i feel like normally you have that military sort of green the fact that it's in sort of like a trench coat jacket here is really cool but i like the fact that it's pleated i don't know who it's by i feel like it could be again sort of japanese designer leaning maybe like a margella maybe like a sakai something along those lines i'm not saying that margella is japanese but i'm just saying i think avant-garde designers that are into styling and recreating pieces in this sort of manner and making them a little bit more intriguing is always great i love the jeans. I love that curvaceous 
shape that sits along the hips. The fact that it widens the body, it plays on silhouette and proportion, which is amazing. I love the way they boots. Honestly, I thought they were gonna be like the leather versions that sort of folded over, but I like the fact that they are the denim because it adds this weird sort of crinkle and wrinkled denim element, even though they're not matching denims. But I think it's again, intriguing and it's cool and it's different. The halter, that's all different sort of patchwork denim. It's not my favorite, but I get it. I think it adds to the element. It kind of feels like I'm on the case, you know? Yeah. I kind of feel like a down-home detective in this look in a way that I really like. And then oh I would- Oh my God, the police are hard. Stunning. I feel like we see a lot of this sort of military green paired with denim, and it's something that we saw a lot, I would say, in the 2010s. It's something that I have like a very vivid memory of like those green military-ish sort of colored jackets paired with a simple jean and like a black boot. So the fact that we're remixing that iconic duo together here, but making it cool and fashion and funky and over the top and avant-garde makes it even better to me. I don't need a lot for the evening. A lipstick. Me. A credit card. I would probably grab this little bag. Easy, sold, love it, thank you. I'm gooped, I'm gagged. Wednesday, hump day, come on, come on. <gasps> so this, She's crazy, I love her. This, I guess I would call my fashion star. Oh yeah, you are a fashion star in this moment. I mean, the tights, I don't know if it's like a bustier shirt, blouse thing with the drape and the gathering and the big shoulders and I mean, the peep toe heel, I feel like it's a Westwood, but I'm not sure, but it looks like a Westwood. It's Vivian Westwood. Two for two, add it to the counter. Who I think a lot of us have been thinking around recently, who's always been so inspiring to me, not just in fashion, but in the way that she lived. The sort of freedom that she dared us to, to live with too, and certainly to dress with. I mean, see, you can tell when somebody actually is like a fashion girly because they can talk about the clothing, they really like do actually care. They do actually have something to say about their clothing and it's not just, these are my jeans from Raval. I love them because they fit me. Like there's a difference. The construction on this corset is really exquisite. Okay. There's something about so it's like a corset bustier situation and then I think it's like a bolero and then maybe a skirt or the dress, the bustier corset style, you know, flows into this skirt. Asymmetry in the skirt, we can see that the way that the fabric curves essentially is a very early Vivian Westwood staple. It's something that she was doing from her first fashion show. Fall 1981, the Pirates Collection saw a lot of asymmetry. It's a very classic Vivian style. I mean, the silks also, again, are very Vivian-centric and the pattern tights too. This look makes me feel kind of like a, like a dainty giraffe. Love that. I feel like some sort of pop star to another planet. Except like slightly worried about yeah. breaking Sold. an ankle, but otherwise free. Okay, I, um, I oh, took yeah. these off because these were trying to off me. Um. <laughs> oh my God, those things literally are like maces. They are two individual maces. But I wanna say the shoes, if we look at them, I presume they're not actually crocodile. I presume that they're leather that's embossed to look like crocodile. If you know the iconic Vivian Westwood moment of Naomi Campbell falling on the runway, wearing those very, very large heels, those are the material and motif that was used on the runway. So these are definitely a reference back. Naomi's were in blue. These are in burgundy or brown. I love them though. Thanks Vogue for not sharing that footage of me. Yeah, you hear that click? Like yeah. those things are heavy as shit. <laughs> I love her. I love her so much. I'm obsessed. I'm so happy. I'm sorry I never reacted to this so earlier. This I like to sold. Sold, 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 sold. Is this Peter Doe? I think of it as sort of a classic me, a classic Tessa, a classic T look. This is a Willie Chavaria suit. Oh, I love okay, Willie Chavaria, sold. I can see that absolutely. So Willie Chavaria, if you don't know, is a New York based designer. A lot of his work is based in menswear, but I know that he also does do women's wear on occasion or he shows women's wear within his collections too. Honestly, a lot of the early collections I believe were inspired by like New York street culture. So that's why you see a lot of these sort of wide leg styles. But I love the proportions of, honestly, the blazer. I think it's cut beautifully. I think that black silk is amazing. And then you see that that big proportional pant 
is most definitely there. I love, again, the way that there seems to be a theme about the pants that Tessa chooses, curve. They create a very circular effect going on in the legs. And this big, beautiful faux fabric flower, it's so ridiculous, it's so over the top, but it's so good. It's so cool, it's so fun, it's so funky. Fashion is fun. Fashion can even be funny. <laughs> I could get married in this. I could get buried in this. Oh. I could go to my own funeral or someone else. She's not and wrong. what's great about it is if you were to see someone that you don't want to talk to, you just- This woman is an icon. This woman is a legend. This woman is a star. I would take a bullet. Do this and then you can, yes. you know, avoid uh, awkward conversations. So that's really good. Sold, 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 sold. She is an icon. I love her. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, Friday. I don't know, like the weekend, uh, we've already been okay, so set up pretty well. I think is a night out. I could go is it you know, for knows? dinner, but I think it would be a really fun dancing look just to sort of elevate it and make maybe it not. a little nighttime. Maybe this like- Maybe it's more Westwood. Cute self the jacket purse that feels I just got the other day. Westwood I really love the idea of like maybe tying in the purse with this. I found this vintage necklace at like a weird little place in New Orleans. Okay, I love. love costume jewelry from this period. And then this Vivian Westwood coat, this, you know, vintage Four, Vivian Westwood, it. which I feel like you could almost wear as a dress. Oh, I love this. Again, like going on Westwood and working on a Westwood video right now. Don't ask when it's going to come out because it will secure that it will never come out. But this most definitely is giving vintage English riding coat. It feels very... Maybe 18th century, but a lot of 19th century, I would say, too, is where Vivian sort of drew a lot of inspiration. It looks like something that somebody on a horse or driving a horse carriage. The fact that it cuts away and flares out, the fact that it's in this sort of gridded motif plaid sort of style, again, all brings you back to like vintage sartorial English men's dress. Vivian always chose to sort of look at it and satirize it, but also at the same time really understand the actual cut of the garments, the way that they were historically made, not like let's adapt it for today, but rather actually create those pieces and recreate them from the original patterns from the 18th century and the 19th century. So I love this. This is what happens to me often is I really have to reconsider my shoe choices. I like these boots, but let me just see what happens <laughs> if I'm wearing something a little okay. sexier as they say. So uh, for me, I, you know, I really love, Ooh. it's pretty cute too. Let me see. Okay, so, hmm. I might go here and ditch, Bam. and ditch the necklace and rethink the purse. This is like the actual thing I think that makes these videos really, really cool and really, really fun is that you're actually seeing people style themselves and pick out and re-engage and recreate and remake and restyle themselves as they are actually wearing the clothing instead of it being like, my stylist picked out these seven looks and I'm gonna wear them here, ha. Huh? This is really what happens to me, I'm telling you. I think it might be the silver. The Robert one. Maybe they are actually. I love the silver on the silver with the self-portrait bag, and I think the Robert one shoe. Ladies who lunch into dinner. I love that. L ladies who dinner. This is the final look. Sold. <laughs> so, oh my god, that jacket is so good. So good. I wish I knew who the dress was by, to be fair. All right, Saturday. So <gasps> this I love this woman. I love her. I'm so obsessed with her. She's so amazing. This dress is iconic. This is a red carpet look. Yeah. It's this dress by Wiederhoff, which I really love. She is the coolest human being in the entire world. I'm sorry I keep cutting her off. She's just so cool. Wiederhoff is an amazing, again, New York-based brand. Jackson is a star. He used to work at Tom Brown, and then he started his own line. Creates these really beautiful, over-the-top, amazing avant-garde styles and pieces. And then at the same time, he creates beautiful styles like this that are a little bit more pared down, a little bit more simple, but at the same time, beautifully executed. I mean, that skirt is amazing. It comes with these delightful flowers as a prop, and they're not for yeah. anything except for beauty. I mean, look at these guys. I love them so much. I love it. I might even wear this on a red carpet next week. Who knows? I fell in love with this dress when I saw it. I it's video. big and playful, but also I think really oh simple God. and and classic. I have so much fun planning for red carpets. I've been working with my stylist, Wayman and Micah, for some years. Yeah, Wayman and Micah know what they're doing. They handle their clients very, very well. And I think we really evolved together a lot. These bad boys are Naked Wolf, and I really like Naked Wolf. They make okay. really good stacked platforms. 
platforms and boots. I wear them a lot. You know, sometimes it's about finding a great purse and sometimes it's about finding a great prop. And when you go for a prop, you can't have a purse. So one hack that I have found, which is that I just keep my lipstick in the side of my dress. You stand. And then I have it there for touch. An icon. Especially when you're wearing a red lip and then you just have it handy. So stuff a little Armani in the side and then you're good to go. And then you can take your 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 florals. Which makes me so happy. I love this look. I don't want to choose at the end. I don't think I can. I don't know. It's going to be hard. Okay, I'm sad. This is almost over. Oh this my God. is... She literally I is... I, yeah. Well, I'm not normally like smiling this hard when I watch these videos. To whoever was like, Luke, you should watch this months ago. And I didn't. I apologize. I'm a bad person. I know. And I'm apologizing to Tessa because I really should have done this forever ago. But this full pleated experience, which I presume is Pleats Please or at least Pleats Please by Issey Miyake or just Issey Miyake in general, gooped. Very oh quintessential God. LA look in the sense that, well, it's me in LA. LA is really sort of relaxed, low key. It's often very warm. This is like me in my ethereal dream She's of myself. So cool. It's all Issey Miyake. Which I'm I obsessed. Like to think it's very Los Angeles. Okay, so if I was wearing this, I hop on a plane, I'm going to New York. I would make a few adjustments if I were meeting friends in the evening. Okay. I might, you know, ditch this. Oh, she's Heart, so cool, the best. Okay, her. please Who do, knows? I love that jacket. I really love fashion moments where you buy it and you're like, how does it work? Like to me, then I know that I love it. I'm like, what are you? Okay, so here. Oh my God, she's the coolest her. human being I've ever seen in my entire and life. Maybe I would ditch <gasps> these shoes and then I maybe would put on this <gasps> shoe. I love this shoe. I could also pop in okay, this Okay, sold. The ribbon, oh, oh, never mind the leathers with the fringe feathers. Yeah, maybe better. Feathers, they look like feathers. Because there's something about it that's very easy. Yeah. For me, New York, LA. Oh my God, Georgia. they're both amazing. They exist together. I love One her. makes the other even more special, but New York. <laughs> we stand, we stand this woman. She's an icon, she's a legend, she's a star. Oh, she literally said, I don't even have to say goodbye. Oh no, she does. That is everything that I would wear. In thank a you, week. Tessa Thompson. Thanks for watching. No, thank you for having me. Physically, mentally, emotionally, I am restored, regenerated. I don't need a weekend anymore. Like that was it. I'm good. I'm gooped. I'm gagged. Literally, physically, in the beginning, when I like almost died and choked, because <laughs> my body literally had a physical reaction. My body detected it. My body said, "Oh, you need to clear your throat because it's about to get really good." That is the best one I think I've seen yet, without a doubt, 100%. Iconic, legendary. I don't want to choose a best and worst because there is no worst, but I would say the best there's a couple that LA look at the end that last I just like excuse my French but that threw me for a mother loop it was so cool it was so crisp it was so clean but at the same time like so elevated so elegant intriguing and elementary and I'm amazed other iconic looks I mean that first business meeting look really like set the tone that you're gonna get what you're gonna get and you're not gonna get upset and I'm saying that because you're just physically not gonna get upset. The Vivian Westwood with the heels, the Willie Chavaria, the Vivian Westwood coat. Like there's just a lot. That was amazing. Tessa Thompson, I thank you. Again, when I said like I would take a bullet, I think this video would confirm that I would in fact take the bullet. So thank you all so much for watching along with me. I hope you all enjoyed. If you didn't, I'm really sorry. Go get a COVID test because taste buds must be messed up. I will see you guys in the next video and TTYL.